Ableton Live 12 Intro Edition Review Are you looking for an affordable, powerful, and beginner-friendly DAW? Ableton Live 12 Intro Edition might be for you. Ableton Live 12 Intro is the entry-level version of Ableton's legendary DAW. It offers a budget-friendly way to step into music production. While it lacks the full capabilities of the standard or suite editions, it provides essential tools for beat making, recording, and mixing. It's perfect for beginners without overwhelming them. The price is an affordable entry into Ableton's ecosystem. It's targeted at beginners and hobbyists. Core functions include a loop-based workflow, MIDI editing, and basic mixing tools. However, it has fewer tracks, effects, and instruments compared to higher editions. So what exactly do you get with the Ableton Live 12 Intro Edition? Let's break it down. You get 16 audio and MIDI tracks and 16 scenes for live performance. There are two send and return tracks. It includes drum rack, simpler, and impulse. You have access to over 1,500 sounds, which is 5 gigabytes of content. It offers basic MIDI and audio effects. Multi-track recording capabilities are included. Essential MIDI and audio editing tools are available. Time stretching and warping are part of the package. Basic automation for volume and effects is included. Built-in EQ, reverb, and compression are available. One of the biggest selling points of Ableton Live 12 Intro is its intuitive workflow. It's especially great for electronic music producers, DJs, and live performers. The workflow is fast with drag-and-drop simplicity. It's great for beginners with a minimal learning curve compared to FL Studio or Logic. It's perfect for live performances. The session view makes it easy to trigger loops and sounds. However, it has limited audio effects and instruments. There are no advanced synths like Operator. Track limits are set at only 16 tracks. There's no max for live support, meaning no custom plugin creation. So, who should actually buy Ableton Live 12 Intro Edition? It's best for beginners and hobbyists. It's a perfect entry into digital music production. It's ideal for electronic and loop-based producers. It's best for beat-making and looping workflows. It's great for live performers and DJs. It's perfect for improvisation and live sets. However, it's not ideal for orchestral and film composers. It has limited orchestral instruments and tracks. It's not suitable for guitarists and bands. It lacks deep audio recording capabilities. Advanced producers might find it lacking. If you need more effects and tracks, standard slash suite is better. Before we wrap up, let's quickly go over the biggest pros and cons of Ableton Live 12 Intro. It's an affordable entry-level DAW. It's great for live performance and beat making. It has a simple drag and drop workflow. It comes with quality built-in instruments and effects. However, there's a track limit of 16 audio and MIDI tracks. There's no max for live or advanced instruments. It has limited automation and mixing tools. So, is Ableton Live 12 Intro Edition worth it? Yes, if you're just getting started with music production, it's perfect if you need an affordable and beginner-friendly DAW. It's ideal if you want an easy workflow for beat making and live performance. No, if you need more tracks, effects, and instruments. It's not for you if you work with complex mixing and mastering projects. It's not suitable if you need film scoring or advanced sound design tools. Ableton Live 12 Intro is a fantastic starting point. If you're serious about production, upgrading to standard or suite later is a smart move.